CBM. That's right. CBM is actually a construction company in Indonesia. <laughs> Pretty sure that's that's the case. Really? Yeah, well, it it's Cherry Bay Mango. So. Oh. The organizer is, is calling uh, Pool D at the moment. Um, man, I, well, it's really hard to talk while the speakers are blasting. Oh man. <laughs> We're losing our voices. I've been screaming, I've been shouting. Nate, oh, we got, we got another oh, gin. Since this afternoon. You're gonna join a gin? Yeah, I think. I'm pretty sure he's gonna play, he's gonna pick gin. Somebody put in a heroing CBM. Yep. So we can see the chat that somebody, uh, some people are warming, uh, cheering for the CBM, and some are cheering for Noroma. I guess yes. You know, I, 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 I didn't expect that CBM looks like that. Ever seen before? I, I don't know. I think CBM has put some weight. Okay. Okay. Since he, I don't know, I think I, the last time I, I don't watch his streams. Pretty often. Pretty often. And he didn't put his face on it, right? I did think, he? I think he he does. He I does. think he has a webcam on. Okay. But the last time I remember seeing him play, a lot was doing, like a, a last chance qualifier or something. A qualifier in England. Oh wow. I think, I'm not sure. He, maybe it he was, was studying. Ages ago, right? No, it was like two years ago. I think maybe and one and a half years ago. Is it, is it where uh, a Raven won the tournament? No? It was a really Yoshimitsu. Yoshi oh, Yoshimitsu, yeah, yeah, yeah Yoshimitsu yeah, yeah, yeah. won the tournament. It got so high, some, somebody probably ran across the room and knocked the cables or something. Because <laughs> after the wi the win, the winning, uh, sorry, during the winning hit, the running punch or something like that, like that the internet disconnected. The oh, stream wow. went off. It was so hard. It was ridiculous. Okay, we gotta concentrate on the match. So Dragonair versus Jin right here. Yep. Nice jab string. Ooh, running two counter hit. It's oh. funny that Noroma has been picking Dragonovs and a few other characters. He's really known for Jack, but I've seen he he picks Dragonov for against certain matchups. Okay. I've seen this like since uh, this early this year, maybe I'm not sure. I Evo Japan, I think. Oh. He's been picking several characters, different characters. Exactly. Just like today, he's been playing Dragonov instead of Jack. Mm -hmm. Maybe because he some things about Jack Jack's that. He doesn't like maybe because he like his movement. Yo, Jack maybe. is pretty big because I mean, you can Jack sidewalk, you can sidestep. Exactly. But it's pretty tough. Yeah. And, and Jack, you you didn't get to sidestep too much because his his body no, is pretty pretty yeah, big. Right? Yeah. You don't get you don't get to you don't get the chance really. Oh, nice health tip right there. Boom! All the way to the wall. Oh, for Wobble three, got sidestep. Mm, okay. He could have ducked there, but really, it's tough doing this pressure. In this, like in this area, <laughs> but it's so loud. All the way to the wall. Yep. Boom. He can get this. Oh, Jin's double forward one is so good, man. He's like the cheapest <laughs> hybrid Mishima ever. Oh, nice hop he kick. He has hop kick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has a lot of stuff. The wall carry is pretty good too. Look at that. Boom. He has a hell sweep that can lead to a juggle. But I think uh, Jin's hell sweep is slower than average. Because you kind of, you kind of able to see it a little bit. What I don't like about uh, Hel his Helso is that he doesn't really crouch. Yeah. So it's kind of deceptive in a way, but yeah, it's still pretty good. It's pretty good Helso. I think it's pretty good. Oh, back one two, back two one. Sorry. Oh, people are. I think somebody is coaching. I think it's Chanel is coaching. <laughs> oh, Chanel. Like, yeah, Chanel is coaching for. Oh, okay. Nice mini combo right or there. Or maybe he's commentating. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. With yeah. no stream, <laughs> just off stream commentating. Exactly. That's he, very he's strange. For Tekken, it's just over the top, right? <laughs> yep. Living for Tekken for Harada. Oh, that's a hell. Oh, but oh, he missed. Oh shit. That's a pretty hard combo. Maybe he should have just sh stick with the normal yeah, back to one. Yeah. Start from, well, maybe. I don't know. That's a pretty hard combo because it, um, it's kind of what? What can I say? He has some rage issues. Not really, not really a problem. It's just you gotta. It, I think I'm not really a good. Gym. I'm not a good gym player. Uh -huh. I only play him like a little bit for a few weeks. But what I can say is, to get that juggle, he has to get the, the hellship in a closer range mm -hmm. to get a, to get that 
extension jug to, to, to get the combo going. How, how um, much damage difference from the regular back to one? Maybe a, more, 10 plus more damage, I think. That I is, can't really remember. That is pretty, I mean, pretty... It's a pretty big con All right. Yeah, that's... Not, it, not that it is, it's difficult, it's just, it's kind of tricky. Especially in, in a tournament situation like this. Exactly. Yeah, people get nervous and all that. Yeah. So you kind of have to make the decision between a saver or a more risky play. That's right. Ooh, nice electric. Boom. All the way to the wall. Nice. But if he didn't get a wall hit, it's still pretty good though. But still a good position yes. afterwards. The 4 one four. That's mm. a very questionable decision. All right. Norma is does really. He does like to take a lot of risks. Yeah. In his games, I see. Very unlike Koreans in general. Yep, that's right. But what uh, I think, what sets him uh, apart from like scrubs, is he, he doesn't take really risks. But sometimes he puts uh, people in quite. People uh, puts doubt in people. Uh, he see. makes people doubt about themselves. Like, is he going to continue this string? Is he going to do the next to continue the hits uh, in the strings? Okay. That's that's why he's really good about that. I think. That's um, what makes him really good. Oh. I can't really describe it. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got you got starstruck right there, right? Maybe. <laughs> or maybe I'm just too tired. <laughs> Ooh, nice electric combo. Boom. Don't. Just a little bit more. Backing up a little bit. Nice back to one. This the range of back to one is very good. This has good, been right? a close matchup so far. This has been a very really close matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Power stance. What do you call it? Mental alert? Mm, I'm not sure why he did that. Probably a, a miss input, I, I think. That's really, that was really strange. Can no one make out of this? Maybe he can. Well, standing, oh, no. well, standing four seals the deal. He failed. Yeah. And Khan's score, score is 1-1. One, one. And since we are still in the pools, we are only playing for Best of threes, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's still best of three. Still best of three matches. Oh, it's Fursan, no, no, without H. No, yeah, without an H. It's just Fursan, not Fushan. Fushan. <laughs> Who did pick? Uh, Noroma pick up for this match. I can't. I didn't see. Here comes the Jack. Is it? Or still sticks with Dragonov. And he there picked you it. go, yeah. Jack. Jack and seven. I see that even though these players know the the limitation of the characters, yeah, they still pick the their best characters. Yeah, because they're you're more comfortable with it, right? Yeah, because like maybe they get. I I feel that these players really know that in whatever situation they can make out of it. I mean, they can win. Out of, For in, sure. Yeah. Because, because the, the they know. There are a little, oh, every so single detail of the character. That's why. So that's, that's how you got an advantage of picking your best character on it. Third forward two, nice. Boom. The and range, Jack, man, the range. And Jack is a really good character in tournaments because he he spokes. I mean, he he gets a lot of damage. See, he just got like a fifty damage or something. And Jim got a can can. Doctor. So the wall messes up a little bit. That's such a good, good poke. Ooh. Oh, he got this, and he chose a, an easy combo. Exactly, yeah. just just to seal the deal for yeah. that round. He didn't want to mess it up and lose the round. It would be really bad, and Roma would otherwise get get up to the match point. Yeah, yeah, and the mental damage as well, because you're considering in tournaments. Ooh, the damage, man! Big damage. This ten frame. That's 12 frame. That's 12 frame, right. And that was on counter hit. That's why he got uh, the, op the opportunity to co continue the combo. Yeah, man. Really tough sick. for CBM. It's an uphill battle. Uh, maybe not really an uphill, but it's just, it's still tough. The whip. Ooh, oh, he picked one. a big risk. This is going to be big, especially since the wall is not broken yet. Uh, Another wall. Oh, my wow. goodness. What an improvisation. 50 percent. Oh, no punish? oh, he tried to an electric. I think he tried to, to do an electric and he messed it up. This is really bad. Uh, oh, wow. It was kind 
the I Roma takes sad. it. Sad to see no uh, CBM uh, down like that.